2020, and I'm excited that you've chosen to join us today. We're working our way through Proverbs, and uh, don't you just love Proverbs? Uh, it's such an amazing book that's filled with all these uh, golden nuggets of spiritual truths on how to live our daily life, uh, our daily lives, and uh, how to live our lives fruitfully and abundantly and uh, with joy. So today I want to look at Proverbs 3, uh, specifically verses 5 and 6, and I'm going to read out of the ESV. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. And this is a verse you're probably familiar with, and when I first look at it, you see things like trust in the Lord. You see trust, do not lean, and acknowledge. And it really is one flowing thought with everything pointing back to that very first statement, which is trust in the Lord with all your heart. And you would think that wouldn't be that hard of a thing um, because really we talk about it a lot. We spend uh, a lot of times talking about trusting in the Lord. We sing it in so many of our songs during worship on Sundays and we have Bible studies on it and devotionals on it and we plaster it on our Facebook pages uh, to trust in the Lord and trust in the Lord. But in reality, when the storms of life hit, what we see people do is not trust in the Lord, but trust in themselves and immediate try, immediately try to fix whatever problem has come up. And we know very well that we, when we try to fix our own problems, uh, we usually make them infinitely worse than they were when we started. So that's kind of fascinating. And you wonder, why does that happen? And I think we struggle with trusting the Lord in these big things because we haven't learned to trust the Lord in little things. And there's a truth that runs through all dangerous activities and dangerous professions. And that truth is that you will always react to a situation exactly the same way that you've trained yourself to react to that situation. And as an example, I used to do a lot of scuba diving and it's an inherently dangerous sport. And so we would train on the surface to deal with emergencies that would come up. And one of those emergencies, the biggest one would be running out of air. And so we would train over and over and over how to deal with that, how to switch tanks and be able to get fresh air. So when you're 150 feet underwater and that happens, you don't have time to think. You just immediately do what you've been training yourself to do, and that's to be able to switch and get fresh air. However, if you trained very sloppily or you did not train at all to do that, when that emergency happens, you don't react and you simply panic. Uh, and you try to fix something, but you don't know how to do it, and you put yourself in a disastrous situation, uh, and you can very easily lose your life. And that really is the same thing with our spiritual training. Um, we can't trust God in the big things because we haven't bothered to train ourselves to trust him in the little things. And what I mean by little things are these things are everyday activities of living, the mundane, boring parts of life that we think, okay, we've got this, it's not a big deal. Um, things like, I don't trust God to, to take care of my monetary needs, Hey, God, I've got it. I'll earn the paycheck. I, I go out. I work. I do it. Um, sometimes we, we might say, hey, you know, I don't need you to raise the kids, Lord. I need you for the big things, and I will trust you in those big things. But when it comes to raising them, don't worry about it. I've got it. And what we do is we train ourselves unconsciously that, you know what, in these little things, I've got it. I've got it. I can lean on my own understanding and I don't need to trust in you. So guess what happens when we get into the big things of life, when we're overtaken by circumstances, we immediately go back to our training and our training has told us, trust in your own understanding. You've got this, even though we know very well that we don't have it because of that. So what I would encourage you to take from this is that we need to focus on trusting God in our everyday living, in the little things in our life. We need to acknowledge him and we need to trust him to provide for those things and not get caught in the trap that says, hey, I've got this, I need you for something bigger. And that way, when the emergencies happen in life, we will automatically go to our training, which is to trust God and to move forward. So I wanna thank you for joining us today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for the truths that are in here, Lord. Um, we want to acknowledge you, Lord. We know this is not a democracy. This is a monarchy, and you are king. And we know that you are king over us, Lord. And we know that you are always right and that we can trust you to do that. So, Lord, I pray that we would trust you in the little things so that we can trust you in the big things, Lord. And that can be 
challenging sometimes, Lord. So I pray you would give us the courage to do that and we'll give you glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen.